Something else has to happen first. I have to bring myself up. And you're not the man to do that for me. I have to do that on my own. That's why I'm leaving you now. What did you say? I have to be on my own if I am to get to understand myself and everything outside. That's why I can't stay here any longer. Nora, Nora. I'm leaving straight away. I'm sure Christina will put me up for the night. Oh, this is madness. You're, 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 you're out of your mind. I won't let you. I forbid it. It's no use you forbidding me anything anymore. I'll take what belongs to me. I don't want anything of yours, either now or later. This is madness. Tomorrow I'll go home, to my old hometown, I mean. It should be easier for me to find something to do there. Oh, you poor blind, inexperienced creature. I must see that I get some experience, Torvald. But you're leaving your home, your husband, and your children. I mean, haven't you thought what people will say? I can't think about that. I only know that it's necessary for me. This is outrageous. You're betraying your most sacred duty. What do you consider my most sacred duty to be? Do I have to tell you? It's your duty to your husband and your children. I have another duty, just as sacred. You have not. But what could that be? My duty to myself. First and foremost, you are a wife and mother. Oh, I don't believe that any longer. I believe that first and foremost, I am a human being, just as you are. Or at least that I must try to become one. Oh, I know that most people would say that you're right, Torvald, and that it says something like that in all the books. But I can't go on accepting what people say and what it says in books. I have to think things out for myself so that I'll get to understand them. But don't you understand that your place is in the home? I mean, don't you have something you can rely on for guidance in these matters? Religion? Torvald, I don't really know at all what religion is. What are you saying? Well... I don't know anything except what Pastor Hansen told me when I was being confirmed. He said that religion was this and that and the other. When I get away from all this and on my own, I'm going to have to look into that as well. I must find out whether it was right what Pastor Hansen said, or rather, whether it was right for me. If you, if you haven't got your religion to guide you, then, then let me stir your, your conscience. I mean, you must have some moral sense, haven't you? Or perhaps you haven't. Answer me that. Well, it isn't very easy to answer you that, Torvald, because I just don't know. I really don't know what I think about all that. All I do know is that you and I think quite differently about things like that. And now I'm told that the law is quite different from what I thought, but I simply can't get it into my head that the law can be right, that a woman doesn't have the right to spare her old and dying father or to save her husband's life. I simply don't believe that. Oh, you think and talk like a child. You don't understand the society you live in. No. No, I don't. But now I'm going to find out about it. I must find out who's right. Society or me. You're ill. Nora, you're feverish. You're out of your mind. I've never felt so clear, so certain, as I do tonight. And you're leaving your husband and your children when you feel so clear and so certain. Yes, I am. There's only one possible explanation. What's that? 